What's going on, everybody? This is Trajan. It's time for my poll list for September 5, 2018. We got 60 C, 3 Marvel. Let's just jump right into it. I had a very busy week. Last two weeks, I feel. But we got to pick up the polls. We got the Unexpected, number 4, part of the New Age of Heroes. It's been good. I still prefer uh, the, uh, what's it called? The damage and Silencer, Sideways. Uh, I, I still prefer those a lot. But un Unexpected is pretty good. You can't go wrong with it. So the Dreaming number one, this is from the Sandman universe. Um, I read it actually already. I'm very disappointed in it. I might do a full video on it. Uh, basically, it seems like immigration propaganda. Seriously. Seriously. Uh, and th th there's a female character that they're obviously trying to push. And she's obviously perfect at everything because female characters can't be bad at anything. It's it's just bad. It's just bad. It sucks because the, the, the overall premise of Sandman leaving is kind of cool. But... Yeah, I don't know. Sucks. I have no faith in any of these. Um, so Batman number fifty-four, the last storyline was okay. I liked it. It is one of Tom King's above-average storylines. This one's. I think this is a new. Uh, this might be a one-shot or a new arc. I'm not sure yet. Um, this this. I like Tom King's ability to have Batman reflect on his past. I I, I always like that about Tom King's writing. Um. So, let's see if this is good. I'm hoping this is good. I don't know. The, the, the jury's out on Tom King, to be honest. Super Sons number two. Now, I don't really remember the first issue. I remember I remember some good banter between the two characters. And I remember that I was kind of let down at the end because they were facing basically like a mini version of the Legion of Doom, which I thought was stupid. Um, but like, I think I remember saying that I, it would be something... I said to somebody, it would be something that I would let my kids read it. Absolutely. So, I guess in that sense, it's fine. It still captures the magic of the old Super Sons. It's just, you can tell that I think that they're going for a different demographic. Unless this book is a little, is a little bit different. But we'll see. But no, it's nice. It's a cute book. Justice League number 7. I didn't get Avengers number 7 because my store didn't have it. They were sold out, shockingly. But apparently it's a really big Ghost Rider issue. And um, I need to fucking get it because <laughs> I love Ghost Rider. <laughs> but um, uh, Justice League, on the other hand... Uh, Eh, I like Avengers better right now. Eh. Uh, sorry, Scott. Anyway, and Green Lantern's number 54. Green Lantern's has been good. It's it's just straight up been good. Uh, it's, I'm looking forward to The Green Lantern, which is the Grant Morrison uh, six-issue miniseries that's coming out. That looks like it's going to be very good. And I think, actually, um, Liam um, Sharp is doing the art on it, I believe, unless I'm mistaken. So it looks like it's going to be cool. This is, this is so good. Uh, I, I really like Green Lantern's a lot. And so I turn that everybody who I can, I try to turn on to this. Going on to Marvel, Death of the Humans number three. I don't give a fuck what Zach says. I'm liking this series. I really am. I hope number three continues. It's taking itself very seriously. And I think that it's telling it's telling a good story. There's obviously there's some stupid shit in it. And not even SJW stuff, just like, you know, uh just like the big the big like glaring one was that you killed like twelve million people and you wrote uh it's like you join or die on one body, <laughs> and that's the one body that you expect them to find. It's like, all right, fine, whatever. But I've, I've been really enjoying Death of the Inhumans, like, significantly. The, there are a lot of miniseries that, if I call my list, it's going to be going down to miniseries. Like, I'm just going to only buy a miniseries, because these miniseries have been on point. Cosmic Ghost Rider number three. So here's the thing about Cosmic Ghost Rider. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's supposed to be a funny book, okay? And it's kind of, it reminds me of kind of like, 90s edgy humor but toned down a little bit which i appreciate um the, when i read the first one i kind of thought i thought it was gonna be a serious book i had no idea what it was about i thought it was gonna be something serious it's not supposed to be taken that seriously and i think actually donny cates does a good job at uh kind of playing up the humor in it it's not for everybody i liked it a lot after i, I after i kind of changed the way i was looking at it i en really enjoyed the second issue so i i don't see the third issue being bad either it's Frank Castle, though, by the way. It's not, uh, what was his name? Johnny, Johnny Blaze. And, and Venom, the first host, uh, number two, by Mike Costa. I enjoyed the first one. I thought it was fine. So let's continue. Mike Costa is a great writer. He did the Venom run right before um, our boy Donny Cates is doing his. I'm, in, I'm enjoying this. And all these Venom miniseries are really good. The only thing is, I'm afraid it's going to have Deadpool syndrome, where we're going to have way too many Venom series. Because they're putting Venom on everything. Not only are they putting Venom in everything because he's the only thing that sells, it's obvious that Marvel really knows that Donny Cates is the only good writer they have because they're just throwing him on every single fucking book. Him and Ed Brisson are just, like, going, going ham right now on every single book. Anyway, whatever. 
I think I do need to call this list down a little bit. But I know a lot of the new age of hero stuff are ending very soon. And Justice League, I just always buy. But anyway, let me what you guys think. Like, share, and subscribe. I'm not buying any more Sandman books. I'm, I'm, I'm totally over this Vertigo. And I think that this was supposed to be the anchor for Vertigo. Oh, you fucked up so bad. Let me know which book you guys think is going to be the worst. And why is it The Dreaming number one? And let me know which book you think is going to be the best. And why is it probably Death of the Humans number three? Or I could say Green Lancers number 54 also. All right. Let me know what you guys think. Like, share, and subscribe. You can follow me at Trajan Channel on Twitter. And I will catch you all later. Which one has the best cover? Actually, I kind of like, I, I like this cover a lot.